even if my husband wasn't able to talk again, wasn't able to walk again, we were still gonna trust God. April 11, 2018 started out a typical day for Stacy Garcia. As a phlebotomist, she was working on site at a blood drive when she got a frantic message from her daughter, Emily. Stacy's husband, Lito, who suffered from chronic migraines, was in the ER. His entire left side was paralyzed. He couldn't move it. Stacy called her mom to pick her up from work, and they rushed to St. Anthony's Hospital in Lakewood, Colorado, over an hour away. While her mom drove, Stacy contacted family, friends, and their church, asking for prayer. We were praying all the way to the hospital. I was very frustrated because I wasn't there, and I couldn't help my children take care of their dad. Lito's family and friends gathered at the hospital while doctors ran tests to find the cause of his paralysis. He was taken to the ICU and kept under observation. They did not have any answers at that time. They were giving him medications and putting him on any type of medication that was gonna help him. Stacy was relieved to see Lito alert and full of confidence. He was just telling me, you know, you need to just stay strong. Um, God has this. We're going to be okay. We're going to get through this. I said goodnight to him and that I loved him and I wasn't leaving, um, but I would see him in the morning. Then later that night, Lito began having seizures, so doctors ordered another MRI. By the next morning... He had slipped into a coma. He wasn't waking up. And at that moment, I knew I had to go tell my family. I just took a deep breath and I said, God, I know you're doing something. I don't know what it is, but I'm still gonna trust you. The MRI revealed that a blood clot had traveled to Lito's brain and ruptured, causing his brain to swell. His doctor performed an emergency procedure to remove the clot and also put him on a ventilator. He wasn't sure Lito would ever fully recover and the crisis wasn't over. The doctor had told me there was several different clots that were still in the brain that they needed to have um, broken up before they could safely wake him up. He could not guarantee that he was going to walk again. He could not guarantee that he was gonna talk again. And most of my prayers were, God, I know that you're doing something. I don't know what you're doing. I, I just have to trust you. All Lito's family and friends could do was wait. A couple of days later, they had a prayer service at the hospital. All of us were in the waiting room and we were all just worshiping God. At that moment, you could, you could just feel that God was there. My husband's nurse came and she said, you don't understand. On the cardiology side, the cardiac patients are stabilizing. In the neurology side, we have people that were in comas before and they're waking up. We had somebody come in last night and he was uh, in a motorcycle accident, broken bones. They didn't expect him to live. He woke up and he wants food. <laughs> Yet Lito was still in a coma. His family continued to pray for his complete recovery and he slowly began to improve. Four days later, Lito woke up. I asked him, do you remember me? My heart kind of sank a little bit because he's just stared at me. <laughs> and the look on his face that he gave me, I couldn't tell if he was trying to process what I asked him or if he did not remember me. Lito was still intubated, so Stacy wasn't sure about his brain function. Then, a couple of days later... He actually wrote that his mom and I needed to remember that as long as he has breath in his lungs, God can do the impossible. It gave me so much hope, so much more happiness to know that he was going to be okay. The next day, the vent was removed. Lito was able to talk. He still was paralyzed on his left side, so his family continued to pray. Lito began gaining new ground each day, and a couple of weeks later... I would look at my foot, the one side that wasn't working, and I would just look at it and I would say, move, move, and it, it, and it was a jerk. It would just go back and forth. And then before long, I was telling him I need a bend. He would say, babe, guess what? <laughs> and he would pull his knee up, and he would move his knee. Those little tiny things that he was doing daily were <laughs> so exciting. All the time, he was doing something different. After just over three weeks in the hospital, Lito was able to walk out on his own. He and his family have no doubt 
His healing was a result of prayer. I'm here by the power of God and the product of prayer. And I tell individuals, I'm here because you prayed. Prayer is a, a powerful thing. We're not fighting against flesh and blood, but we're fighting a spiritual battle and we're fighting against something that we can't see. Prayer is the best way for us to get through those things. Now Lito is back at work and enjoying the things he loves to do with his family. God made it happen. I didn't know if my husband was ever gonna wake up again to now being able to enjoy a motorcycle ride and being able to continue to share life together. As long as you have, you have breath in your lungs, he can do the impossible.